The Israeli army has announced that its special forces are inside the NASA hospital in Khan Yunus. That's the main hospital in the south of Gaza. The army described the intervention as a limited operation aimed at recovering the bodies of hostages taken by Hamas. Well, covering the story for us today is Catherine Norris-Trent, our senior reporter, and she joins us now from Jerusalem. Catherine, are you able to tell us any more this afternoon about what's happening at this hospital? Hello there, Nadia. The Israeli army has confirmed that they are operating inside the NASA hospital in Han Yunis, there in the south of the Gaza Strip. They've uh, put out a statement, their spokesman, saying that this is a limited and precision operation. They say they believe Hamas operatives are holding out there um, and that they also believe they say they have good intelligence um, that the bodies of Israeli hostages may be in the hospital and that hostages had been kept there using the past tense. So it doesn't seem that they're looking for any live hostages at this stage, given the information that they've put out. There's also been footage coming out on social media from Palestinian journalists showing smoke-filled hospitals, doctors pushing people on stretchers through the corridors, using lights on their phones, um, injured people as well inside their very chaotic scenes with some broken infrastructure, and doctors there saying that shots had been fired um, and that people have been killed and injured. Now, we don't have precision on that at this stage. Of course, the international press doesn't have any independent access to Gaza. Um, so we're relying a lot on aid organizations and Palestinian journalists for the information. But we know in recent days that the Israeli army had been calling on people to evacuate there further south, um, warning of an operation. Um, and you've had the aid group Médecins Sans Frontières, Doctors Without Borders, saying that that presented people with a terrible choice, whether to stay in the hospital and potentially be a target or to evacuate into what they called an apo apocalyptic landscape. So very dis uh, distressing scenes there, clearly, for people at the hospital in the Israeli army saying that this is part of Hamas using hospitals as a cover for its activities to very very different versions of what's going on at the hospital there. And Catherine, at the same time, let's not forget that Palestinians are also bracing for this expected full-scale Israeli ground assault on Rafa near the Egyptian border. And it does seem Israel will push ahead with that despite significant international concern. That's right. Benjamin Netanyahu has continued putting out via... Uh, uh, Twitter, X as it's now known, or on messaging group Telegram, these statements via his press office saying that uh, Israel will press on with an offensive in Gaza, saying that this will happen. No details about when this offensive could take, what form it could take, um, uh, and how they plan to evacuate civilians, because again, Netanyahu has been saying that that will happen once civilians have been evacuated from the, quote, danger zone. But it is difficult, as several aid groups have been saying, to imagine the logistics of such an operation and where indeed the civilians could go. The UN has previously said, of course, that nowhere in Gaza is safe and the humanitarian aid that's been getting into Gaza has been coming in through the Rafah crossing. So fears continue for people there. And Netanyahu continuing on this line, despite, you know, a, an increasingly large chorus of warnings from world leaders. You've had the prime ministers of Canada, Australia and New Zealand putting out a joint statement uh, calling on Israel not to go down that path, to, to quote them, as well as Emmanuel Macron speaking um, to the Israeli prime minister, saying that hostilities must cease and calling the death toll in Gaza intolerable. Catherine Norris-Trent in Jerusalem. Thank you very much.